Here we go. I'm sorry about that. I'm back. I did not realize I was kind of not in the right aspect ratio that entire time, and apparently Facebook doesn't let you change it. Uh, well, live and learn. It's only my second video. Uh, I feel dumb. Uh, not worried about that. All right. Here we are back to our to our Iron Warrior. Let me just adjust the thing. I need to do some of that. I noticed that light flickering. <laughs> now that's all I can notice. <sighs> well, that's how it is. Sorry about that. Thing is, if I turn that light off, I don't really have enough light. Uh, let me try this. Now it's still too dark, so I'm going to have to replace this light eventually, looks like, for the next video. <laughs> all right. So, this this look better, Daniel? Yeah, we, we good? <laughs> uh it's one of these days. Um, okay. I lost my train of thought. So, we're looking at our Iron Warrior. Of course, we went ahead, we did our Retributor Gold accents. Um, you know, Retributor Gold accents. We have our Hazard Stripes. Um, now, the big thing, next thing we want to do is start layering and, well, our wash, make sure everything is on there good. And then also tighten up some of the blacks, make sure everything is, is going good. Why is this? This is really bugging me why that light's flickering like that. I don't know why. Maybe if I could just kind of point it away a little bit, it'll be less reflecting on the palette there. Maybe that'll, okay. That kind of tones it down a little bit. <sighs> All right. We're having a fun time. Okay. Now, what color should I make the loincloth? That's one of the fun things. Is what, what color should I make this loincloth here? The holster, I'm probably just going to do like a brown gun in there. And then, of course, black with, for the joints and everything. So, let's go ahead and get a nice brown for that holster. And let's see if I have a good brown somewhere. And my paints kind of went all over the place. Lots of gold, red and gold sure. Kind of got me off my groove, man. It's all good. I'll put both. I'll put both videos up on the Facebook too. <laughs> I'm gonna have it all on Facebook too. That's gonna be fun. Or not Facebook, but YouTube. Yeah, so you can see my. Maybe I could get one of those epic fail compilations that'll get me some subscribers. Uh, <laughs> all right, Steel Legion Drab. I like using Steel Legion Drab for holster, you know, holsters and pouches and things like that. Because I know that's one of the things I know they love to add this edition is pouches. It's like, hey, you know, like one of my Primaris Marines is like, oh, he's got pouches. It's like a an '80s. You know, 80s Marvel hero, you know. Rob Liefeld with like millions of patches on everybody. Or pouches, not patches. Alright. Let's shake this paint up. That's the bad thing with some of these paints. They start to settle. And, you know, taking a bit of a hiatus, you know. Recovering from surgery and everything. So that was kind of a... Kind of neglected some stuff there. And that's a nice little good brown here. It's good for this pouch right here. And I say welcome back. Yeah, I was streaming and then I had to fix the stream because apparently my aspect ratio was not my aspect ratio, but my screen ratio was set to portrait and it was just looking all weird. And you can't change the camera rotation while you're streaming live. So let's go ahead and zip this up here. Try to get this brown patch on here. Makes a nice little leather color. And of course, this, this is our first coat. Just going really light on it. Then once it's our first coat, we're gonna kind of go in here. It's like a strap right here on the leg. So I have this knife handle right here. I'm gonna kind of go in with that. 
And I don't know, what color should I make this loincloth? I don't know. I'm thinking maybe like a red. Maybe like a red to make it pop. Or like a green something. I'm not sure what would look good on that. Hmm. Let's look. Actually, let's do a nice Meph Mephestant red. Nice little Mephestant red for that. Just gives a little bit of a color, a little bit of a... Gives a little bit of a pop. That's what we like. Just a little pop of color. Kind of makes him stand out more from his colleagues. All right. Just kind of go right here. Of course, we're going to need a couple layers, but that's what we do. A couple layers, make it look nice. We don't need to make this a nice, pretty... Pretty like little one cloth because well these are these guys aren't meant to be all prettied up. They're not emperor's children or nothing, they're not nothing like that. These guys are just pretty much just come in and ruin your day. That's why I kind of like the Iron Warriors because they just get to the point, ruin your day, and then just, you know, go do their thing. It's okay. You didn't, you didn't disrupt my flow. I didn't know. <laughs> I feel, I feel like a, I feel like a dummy now. And I say, remember, if anybody watching this, um, you can, donate to uh, there's a paypal link in my account i am working on a patreon um hopefully i'll get that up and going come up with some nice rewards for for everything and everyone see what we could do with those all right now we're going here with just some black details and then once we have these black details we're going to go and do our Wash. So the little hoses here on the front, I kind of like just do a little bit of a black on them. Don't want it too too bad because we're gonna tighten them up a little bit. You know, we're gonna add some layering and things like that. But still, just like to. A little bit in there just to make sure that he's, you know, that everything's doing what it should. And I did not get enough paint on there. <laughs> That's the thing is, yeah, you want to have very little bit, you know, tight control, but you don't want to get too little paint. Because too little would be just as bad as too much at times. Especially if it kind of gets out of your control or your brush is too wet, which is my problem right now. My brush is too wet, so I'm just going to go ahead and switch to a dry brush. Now all I notice is that light flickering. <laughs> I, need to get, I do need to get a better light. So, you know, donate to the channel and, you know, I can get better lights. Uh, yeah. Let's go ahead. There we go. Get this black in here. Get the black. Some little hoses and tubes on these guys. Some little hoses and tubes. 
Ah, oh, and I just noticed something. Always good. Yeah. It was nice when you notice a little thing that your brush missed. <laughs> okay. Time to get some dry towels. Okay. Okay. Let's go back with the black here. Let's hit all these hoses before the paint dries on my brush. <laughs> oh, I'm just having a hot mess today, aren't I? There we go. Perfect. These inner seams here. You don't have to make it too thick or too in there. All we got to do is just kind of pop it in there a little bit. Just, you know, kind of darken it up. Because you already got kind of that silver undertone to it. So, just make enough so it just fits in the greaves. You know, fits in the joints. Then we can go in there. When we do our details. Uh, when we go, we go in there with our layers, and we can fill that all in. And then, of course, on this shoulder pad, we get here, and we just want to tighten up some of that little spillover. And some of the spillover here on our shoulder. Remember the shoulder plate is black with the gold trim. All right. All right, let's go ahead and just clean that up a little bit. All right, just make nice clean lines. And Now what we're going to do is we're going to do our wash. We're going to do our wash. After the wash, we're going to, you know, tighten up some more of the details, the fine details. But I want to get the wash done. And then we'll clean up the sword. Um, you know, get this edge out. A little bit of red got on here, I guess, some paint splatter. But then, you know, it kind of works out on the chain sword. Wish I had uh, some of the technical, like the blood for the blood god technical, because that really kind of makes things pop too, and it kind of has this nice sticky blood feel to it. I've seen some great effects where people got fishing line, and they put some of that the blood effect on there, and then it just kind of looks like it's just dripping and sticking. Okay, so actually, I lied. Before we do the wash, I need to do a little one more color. Something I forgot, that happens, you know. Get my age, you start forgetting. Uh, so we're gonna use a little bit of lead belcher here. And what I wanna do is I wanna get your, our bolter barrel. And then I want to get some of our little pieces on our bolter. Just do a little lead belt on there on some of these exposed pieces. Of course, we're going to do a wash on these, but I want to make sure we have a solid base on there. 
that the wash will stick to. Of course, I'll go back over this black after we do the wash, because that's usually what you do. You just want to kind of go back over everything. Some out of here. All right. And then I want to get some on the chain sword here. But not too much, because I just kind of want to accent it. Because the chain sword's going to be a little different. I'm sorry, I got out of, pulled it out of camera. All right, looks like I got more people watching. And so just over this top part on the chain axe, we just want to go kind of gently because we don't want to push down on there. But remember, if it's a little messy, that's okay because this R kind of worn down, has some battle damage, everything. All right, got more people watching. Awesome. Got this set here. And then the fun part where we flip it upside down and kind of get underneath. Sometimes it feels like I don't have enough paint on that brush. So, I'll just let's skip the tip here, and then let's just go ahead and brush around right here. All right, I said it doesn't have to be super fancy, but just enough to get there. And you do notice if you can see the camera, the lead belcher is a bit more silver, brighter than the. Iron Warrior Silver. Alright. Alright, let's get this here. get this get the wash on there now the first wash I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Agrax Agrax Earthshade you know the Agrax Earthshade is good it's great for using like on yellows golds um, and then of course shading you want to go ahead and you want to use a good little brush but nothing too crazy because we don't want to we're not going to coat the entire we're not going to coat the entire you know, model with it. We just want to get, make sure we get in the recesses. So like the skull here on the leg, you just want to kind of pop it in there. If you get too much, just kind of pick up the pool and um, you just want to kind of go around on the gold pieces because there's little rivets and things and we kind of want that to stand out. Plus the Agrax Earthshade gives the extra effect of kind of, takes away some of the gloss takes away some of the gloss of that um, of that gold, which we, we don't want it too glossy. And then also we want to just kind of go in here, the recesses line where we got this orange, where we got the orange marks and kind of pull it in there. Kind of also gives us a nice effect of like, you know, rusted leaking metal. So we pop it in the edges just right. Thanks, Ty. How's your channel coming? Still doing your fishing and hunting? Alright. 
I don't know what's muffling the mic. Um, I'm not muffling it. Uh, might just be how I'm talking. <clears throat> I might be muffling myself. Um, I mean, I'm using my. Because I'm using my. Because I'm using my uh, earbuds right now. You can still hear it. my mic. Uh, I'm not sure what was muffling it. <laughs> uh, so here. So as I said, I just want to keep getting this Agrax Earth Shade in all little recesses around on my on my pieces here. And so you can see it's really kind of going up gold and that's what I wanted to do and also kind of gives it that little weeping rust effect because you know they're not very clean you know they're busy out scouring the stars and doing all whatever crazy chaosy stuff they they do you know eating babies and whatnot they, they like to do. Um, kind of adds that little grime to it. And of course the wash for the other parts, for the actual silverish parts, I'm going to go to Norm Oil. And that Norm Oil is going to kind of make that look like oil dripping from the joint, seams, things like that. Um, so just kind of that first shade right here on the Holster that's going to kind of make it pop out. You can see it's pulsing that detail out. Get focused in on there. And then I'm trying to get a better setup, I'm trying to get it so I could just stream it and do it live on YouTube. Uh, but you need like a thousand viewers, or you know, and the camera I have is great for like showing my face. But when it comes to details like this, it's not really. It's not the best. Um, it just it's everything looks very dark, and you really can't pull the details. Because um, with this, you want to make sure you have the details you know, in there. You can see that earth shade getting really just really popping out that. It's really popping out his you know ugly face. So he's mean mugging everybody. As I said, these aren't friendly guys. These aren't these aren't the good guys. Well, there's not really any good guys in Warhammer. 40,000. 40, I mean, everybody's kind of everybody's kind of a a jerk, I guess. <laughs> uh, all right. Let's go ahead and paint this. Now, how's the audio quality, though? Can you hear me better now, or does it still sound muffled? So I don't want to sound muffled. I don't want to put too much earth shade in here. I'm just going to cover up a little bit. There's that little gold spill right there, but that's okay. Because the next, the next uh, wash we want to do, or a shade we're going to do, is the Nuln Oil. Now the Nuln Oil, uh, the Nuln Oil is this nice darker one. Remember, most people post how, online how they spill it. It's kind of like a rite of passage, I guess. But I said we just want to go a little bit of this, but I want to use a nice, clean, dry brush. And for this, I am going to, because it's going to be a little bigger areas, I'm going to go with the number two uh, round brush. I'm going to get some normal oil in there. Make sure we don't have it way too, you know, we don't want too much, but we don't want too little. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of push it up in the recesses. 
where it should go. I'm just gonna kind of push it up in the recesses. So it'll nice and red pop. Also, it does help cut down a lot of the extra silver. So it gives them that nice rugged, worn, that little bit of a worn look that we want. Because it pull, remember, if it pulls up, just use a dry brush and just kind of sweep it away, sweep it away a little bit. Feet, the feet, you know, a lot of people just forget about the feet. Like I said, we just want to push that enamel off into these recesses here. Put it here in the cloak, kind of make it the shadows pop a little bit more. Here, this little loincloth. This gun a little bit, a little bit of the gold got a little crazy on it, but that's okay. And I'm just going to drop some more warm oil up into the chest area and the front side of his backpack. And I think I'm going to stop there, but that's okay. Remember, we've got little spots that got hit with other stuff that it's supposed to be hit with. Ain't no thing. We could just, just pull it out. Oh. Of course, can't forget his clothes here. Now, we could do like the ones of the old army painter way where they have like those buckets. Just like, okay, spray it with the base. Now, you just go and uh, dunk it. In, you know, dunk it in the wash. <laughs> it's like, ooh, that's that always kind of makes me nervous a little bit. Just dunking it in the wash like that, because I don't know how you can keep it from pulling up very badly. Okay, let me just go ahead and up here. And I've got a little spot where I need to fix. Some little orange got on there, some little Avalon Sunset, which is right here. We'll just cover that up. A little spot there, but I'm just covering that up. All right. So, right now, he's looking really good, almost pretty much done. Um, only thing now, what we want to do is well, let the wash dry. But now, what we're going to do. Is I'm going to get his eyes done. I'm going to do a nice red for his eyes. And then we're going to just finish up, do some touch ups on the certain parts. Like on the gun here, I want to make sure I get this, have it in black on there nice and solid again. Since that's, since that's all dried up, I want to get this uh, black on here again solid. I think the problem was too is when it was too what was very watered down, so I had to fix that. I'm gonna touch up a couple little spots, make sure it's been solid, and then basically what we need to do is just work on our details. Details, details, details. So, so here, just gotta. Because after you do the wash and go through back and look at everything, it's like, okay, I need to adjust this, I need to adjust this, I need to fix colors here, fix colors there. And that's just gonna be the big thing here. I'm just gonna fix a couple parts here. And then I need to fix where that gold hit on the magazine of his pistol. Fixed 
Yeah. Yeah, how's this looking so far, everybody? Looking good, looking looking like a guy you want to meet in the dark alley. up spots but I think what was happening is my black was a little too thin when I was doing some of the detail work so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw it down on the hoses and then right here yeah perfect just like that and now what I want to do is get, let's get this, let's do a little black here and a little vents, of this hat here. And now what I want to do is just a couple little highlights and details and I think I'll be ready to go for the tabletop. As I said, it doesn't have to, we're not looking for parade quality, we're not looking for anything, but we just want a nice simple miniature. <clears throat> that anybody can do. Does that boutique need some doing? Show leader. Just you, anybody can do. Just pick up a brush, have a little patience, and just have fun with it. Um, so, what I need to do first, what I like to do with the eyes, because I like the eyes to stand out. I want, they need to pop out. Because I like to use, I like to use a little white on them. And we're going to go back to our ceramite white. It's a very, very nice solid white. And we'll just make sure we get a nice tip on this. And some people do they put the brushes in their mouth and try to get the fine tip and paints all on it. And I'm just like, yeah, no, no. This is the most, uh, I think out of everything, the eyes are the most, most nerve-wracking <laughs> for me to do. Um, I do like this new eye model design because they actually have it so it's, they're kind of protrude a little bit. So you don't have to go into the indent. You can just kind of get the outside of the um, outside of it. So his eyes looking pretty good. Uh, you, you can actually tell he has some eyes. And then I'm going to use a nice bright red. I'm always being nice, a bright red. We're using this uh, the Mephiston red. It's good. This fist on the red's a nice red, good solid red. And same thing we did with that white on there. We just want to do a very, very little, very, very small. Make sure we have a nice, nice little bit on the brush. Nice. Nice little bit on the brush. Just the tip. We don't need anything crazy on there. That's why I like that little bit of white on there too, because the white too, because if you have a little bit of white showing, it looks like with lens flare, and then it also makes that color pop a lot more on the lens flare. All right. So, he's looking pretty good to go, ain't he? Looking, looking pretty nice and fancy. Let's have some fun. 
five. Let's have some fun here, okay? We're going to play with some ne Necron compound. It's a nice dry paint, so you can see it's dry. It's very stingy. But that's good. You want it in there. Just put, get some on your brush, and then you just kind of rub it off, rub it off. What I'm going to do is just, I'm going to kind of dry brush some on some of some parts of it. Just kind of where the light's going to hit them. The lights, where the light's going to hit them. Kind of park this on that. On the top of his backpack. Halter. Here on the arm. Let's push right here on this. This blade, you can see how that really, really makes that pop. I mean, there's the pop really nice. Here's that. I'm going to pop it here. Let's kind of do a little bit on top of some of this chrome. Or some of this gold. Kind of kind of makes it wear down. It looks worn down a little bit more. Kind of gives it a little less bright. More of a more of a Blades kick out a little bit. And honestly, if you put a little bit on the on some of the parts where you have the on the shoulder bits, as it makes it look like they actually had some, you know, like it's worn down, paint's wearing off, things like that. And I mean, the technical paints, the dry paints are really fun and great to use. Um, I did pick up some of this uh, Tesseract uh, Gray Technical uh, gl Tesseract Glow Technical as well. And that looks really, really fun to play with. Um, let that spill here in the back. Let's just go ahead and just add a little bit here. On the back of them. It's on the, on the arm. So it does make it look more... Let me just go over. It does make it, makes it look a little more worn down. A little more like it's scraped. Things like that. We want to just kind of... Show it off, make it look, make it look really, really rad. But overall, come off here. Let's close that up. We have our little Iron Warrior. There we go. Iron Warrior Chaos Marine. Paint up in this little simple way. We did our hazard stripes. Weapon, everything's good. This is chain sword, everything is looking pretty pretty sharp. And he's ready just for your tabletop. All we need to do now is just to base them. And that's gonna be a separate video in the future. We're gonna you know, look at basing models and kind of going over fun stuff like that. And there we go. Any uh, any comments or questions? Just drop them a lot. Drop it on the lot. Uh, drop it in the chat. Remember, uh, I do. I am now taking uh, donations from PayPal. Um, link is in my channel description, and uh, we'll be able to you know keep this going for us. And we, you know, hopefully we can paint again in the future. And Next time, uh, we are going to paint a Space Marine. We're going to go ahead and paint a Loyalist Space Marine. Um, we're going to do the Dark Angels uh, Primaris Space Marine uh, using a couple different tactic, tactic, uh, techniques. Um, we're going to start with the we're going to start with the Wraith Bone Primer, and we're going to look at some of the maybe start digging into some of the contrast paint lines and going through that. Um, this is very they're very easy to use. Um, you can, and a lot of people think you can just use the contrast paints and you don't really have to use any, uh, you don't have to use any of the, um, washes or shading or anything like that, but you still can. It's just another tool to use. I've 
I find it, you know, they're fun to fun to start with and just let your imagination go with it. And all right, well, so I thank you guys for joining me and just once again, just keep, you know, keep painting and uh, have fun with it.